measure pressure. Third and 13. This could be the ball game. Stafford dribbles the snap, and the Aggie defense, led by Dana Batiste Stiffens, 337 and counting. If you're Texas, Kevin, I assume you have to punt the football with this much time left. Well, there's time and timeouts left. They have all their timeouts. Yeah, absolutely, you have to kick the ball. Rod Harris is back deep. Lil Jadal, a former high school quarterback, he'll throw it, but not from his own five. Maybe should have made the fair catch, but Harris, a wide receiver, has good hands. And the Aggies have it at the 47-yard line, their own, after a 36-yard kick. 3.06 to go. Texas trails by a touch. I didn't know this. Atlanta's talking trade again. And did you see who just walked out of camp? Yeah, and what about all these high-salaried guys on the DL? For my money, the sporting news is the only way. To get the whole story every week. Are you getting shortchanged on your sports news? Then start getting complete, in-depth coverage, up-to-the-minute news and stats, hard-hitting inside stories of football, baseball, basketball, hockey, and more. Everything you need to know every week in the sporting news. Yes, get in on all the action and get in on this great half-price offer from the Sporting News. Here's how. Take this tip and get in on this great half-price offer. Just call 1-800-248-5400. That's 1-800-248-5400 and receive 40 issues of the Sporting News for four easy payments of only $5.45. That's a savings of one half the regular subscription rate. You can't beat that price any place. So call now, 1-800-248-5400. That's 1-800-248-5400. ESPN's exclusive presentation of CFA football has been brought to you by MasterCard. Every time you make a purchase, we'll make a contribution to one of six worthy causes. By Magnavox, smart products for smart people. Magnavox, smart, very smart. By Red Wings, the 20-mile-a-day comfort of Red Wings shoes and boots. And by Dickies, they're America's favorite work clothes. But who says you have to work in them? 3.06 left to go. I'm Jim Kelly, Kevin Kiley alongside. Happy Thanksgiving, another good one, as Morgan and Ross, two tight ends, check in now for the Aggies. They'll sit on that seven-point lead. And oof, Gurley gets sat on. Banged backwards by the Longhorn, Steve Llewellyn, number 93. Dave McWilliams. His advice to anyone who wants to be a college coach, don't panic. Don't become impatient. And don't be afraid to admit mistakes. Well, the Longhorns didn't make many tonight. They trail by 7, 253, and they've got two timeouts left. 22 years in coaching, Abilene High School for four years. 17 years at the University of Texas, one year at Texas Tech, and now head coach one of the great programs in the country. What they're going to do here is they want Richardson to pitch the ball. They want him to run the option. I don't think they dare throw with Richardson in the game. So what David's going to do is going to shut down that, that dive play, as he just did, you saw, and then they're going to try to dare him to pitch the ball, and I'm sure when that ball goes in the air, everybody's going after it. Coming up at the end of this Texas and Texas A&M game, we'll rejoin Sports Center. Eric Clemens and Alan Massengale are there, and they'll tell you all about that overtime win, the Vikings 44-38 against the Dallas Cowboys, and of course, Kansas City upsetting the Lions in Detroit in their traditional Turkey Day clash. And the Goodyear blimp with Glenn Hampton, our photographer out of Akron, Ohio. Mark Kynet out of Conroe, Texas is the pilot. The ship is called America, provided by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Taking shots of Kyle Field, sold out, 78,000 strong. That bonfire still burning brightly. And so are the Aggies' chances of meeting the Irish. Woodside crawls to the 50, brings up third and about seven. Rocky Allen on the stop. Total yards in the first half. Texas 178 Kevin but just 19 second half yards 247 left to go the Longhorns with one timeout left time running out
if you want the great taste of Bud Light, ask for it. Bud Light! Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. There are those who fervently believe that true perfection is found in the details. At the Bavarian Motor Works, we gave that belief a name. We call it the BMW 735i. Beautiful, to be sure. Yet perhaps the most beautiful thing about it is its spirit. How about this? An ingenious price marker that marks prices. And at the same time, takes inventory of all the items it marks. Good idea? Pitney Bowes, a climate that grows ideas. The Aggie Band. Boy, when they play that Aggie war the stadium starts to lock arms and sway back and forth. Going side to side and uh, makes me want to suit up, Jim. Third and eight. Longhorns have to stiffen here. Option by Bucky. Richardson pulled down. Let's see if Texas takes their last time out. Aldridge on the stop. 237, 235. And counting. Fourth down coming up. And the Aggies are in no hurry. They'll take a penalty here. The disciple, Daryl Royal, Dave McWilliams on the sideline. When he talked about becoming a head coach versus being an assistant, he said the one thing he was worried about coming back to Texas after having been an assistant here, he didn't want his former players or his former assistant coaches to think that he had changed it all. But he did come back and reestablish some discipline and some consistency. yard penalty delay of game Aggies let the clock wind down to 201 so on fourth and 15 now we'll remind you that we've got a great game on Sunday the Browns and the 49ers Jim Brown the legendary one number 32 will be in the booth with our Mike Patrick and Roy Firestone join us at 8 o'clock Eastern time the NFL on ESPN Metcalf would like to break it big stump hangs it high kicks it away from Metcalf and it goes out of bounds they'll spot the ball up near the 34 yard line. So pretty good field position. One timeout left for the Longhorns. And there are one, with one minute and 54 seconds left for Brett Stafford. And they need a tie. If they get a tie, they can go to the cotton ball. And I would wonder if they scored a touchdown, you'd sure get a, a quick read on David McWilliams if he was down one and needed two to beat him and one to go to the cotton ball. What kind of guy he is. First and ten. Stafford over the middle, wide open, dropped at the 48-yard line. Tony Jones, the sophomore out of Great Land, Texas. Boy, Stafford did his job. Well, here's the play. The guy runs the 200 meters in 20.28, but he's got to catch the ball. They kept maximum protection. This is that inside the zone pass I was talking about. Jones should have had that ball. Stafford paid the price. O'Brien oh, got him. Stood in there and paid the price, and Jones needs to catch it. Second and 10 from their own 33. The Longhorn Stafford, 8 of 23, 73 yards. Deep drop. Needs some help across the field. Misfired. Looking in the direction of Gabriel Johnson. Pressure by Leon Cole, number 74. Stafford, although he holds most of Texas passing records, does not have a great arm. You may be wondering, Texas has never been a passing team. He's a guy who started for most of four years, and he's in there for his leadership, his ability to read defenses and get the job done. He's not your prototype quarterback. Texas, one out of nine on third down conversions. They need ten to keep the football. Over the middle, wide open. First down, and he hangs on. 
Tony Jones. They got it to the man they wanted, Kevin. Last year, Jones caught just five passes, but three of those went for touchdown. A 14-yard pickup. They'll move the sticks. 92 seconds left to go. They need to throw to their flex end. They're, they're very, very uh, easy to read here. They need to get to their flex end or their slot with the ball. Partially blocked. Metcalf pulls it down at the line of scrimmage. Adam Bob, the junior, corralled Metcalf. Hurry up offense. Longhorns only with one timeout. Roper deflected the pass. Stafford on a dead run. He finds Gabriel Johnson at the 45 yard line, a pickup of eight. They'll need two for the first down. Alex Morris on the stop. Longhorns have to hurry. Johnson has drawn single coverage. They're very aware of Jones and Metcalf. These other guys are the guys to go to. Quarterback draw. Stafford pulled down from behind. One half of the Blitz Brothers, number 83, John Roper. Now the Longhorns will take their last time up. I think it's a measurement timeout. I don't know if they took that timeout. Oh, now they're taking it. Now they're taking it. So, as you see on that graphic, the Longhorns are out of timeouts. Aggies with two, and Dave McWilliams, 26 years as a player, as a coach in the state of Texas. Talk about the right man for the job at the right time. The only man, they say, some say, the only man for this job. Uh, 1963 played for Texas for a couple of years, but 1963 he was a co-captain, a center, 195-pound center and linebacker on their national championship team. That was back when you could be that size. And he was even undersized as a center then, but a great player. And he said that this is the only job he would have left Texas Tech for. There's John Hagee. Of course, it's tough on the seniors like Hagee and Tony Griffin and Gerard Senegal. Paul Jatan, Thomas Aldridge, and Brent Stafford. They have never, ever beaten this Aggie team, but four in a row. Well, this is not over yet, guys. I mean, 36 seconds. I don't know about the grin like that. Stafford, 11 of 26, 96 yards. He's hit his last three in a row. This is a team, remember, that beat Arkansas on the last play of the game. Texas, 36 seconds left to go. Longhorns are out of timeout. They need a yard to keep the football. Bat it down! By Brent Smith, number 35. How about the play call on fourth and a yard? What do you think? They're out of timeouts, so barring a fumble, the Aggies are headed for the Cotton Bowl. Now watch number 35, Smith. Stafford's only six feet tall, listed six feet. I don't think he is. And Smith way off the ground. Stafford, very predictable, as I said. Looked right at his receiver. Didn't change his motion. It was easy to time the jump. Not his fault, really. When you become that predictable this late in the game and you need to go for it, it's a lot easier to play defense. An effort, a valiant effort by Texas. Longhorns cannot stop the clock. So Jackie Sherrill, 44 years of age this Saturday, ups his record to 4-2 and two against Texas. He'll get his 44th win here at Texas A&M tonight, and he'll be 2-0 and oh against Dave McWilliams. The Aggies and the Irish in the Cotton Bowl. Pittsburgh in the Blue Bonnet Bowl gets Dave McWilliams and the Longhorns. And for three straight years, Texas A&M, conference champions in the Southwest Conference and a Cotton Bowl bid.
The Aggies by seven over the Longhorns. We'll be back at Kyle Field. For sports news, turn to the experts. Experts who take you wherever sports happen, whatever time of day. ESPN Sports Center, America's Sports Authority. Today, you need an insurance company with a firm financial footing, a company with staying power and intelligence to see you through year after year. A company with experience you can count on. You need the Hartford, the insurance people of ITT. When you need us most, we're at our best. That's the Hartford difference. Introducing the G-Shock 5200 watch from Casio. The sports watch that's ready for action with a built-in shock absorber. It's tough, so tough, this G-Shock can take a slap in the face. And not even flinch. The G-Shock 5200, just one of Casio's water-resistant sports watches. It's one tough watch to beat. A great game, a great rivalry. And and you know, Jim, I think we saw a preview of what's going to be just an incredible rivalry over the years. David McWilliams certainly established himself this season as one of the fine head coaches in the country, bringing the Texas Longhorns almost all the way back to the Southwest Conference Championship. But maybe lost in us talking about McWilliams as the job that the Texas A&M people have done and Jackie Sherrill has done with the team. He rebuilt this entire team this year and with virtually no offense, juggling three quarterbacks, He's gone nine and two on the year. Only the loss to LSU, a great football team, and another loss to Texas Tech. And he's won the Southwest Conference for the third consecutive year in a rebuilding year. They'll be very tough next year. And my hat is off to the Texas A&M people and to Jackie Sherrill. Nice game, partner. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks. Our Hartford Insurance Player of the Game, Aaron Wallace, out of Roosevelt High School in Dallas. 15 tackles, two sacks, one pass broken up. He's our Hartford Insurance Player of the Game. Again, our final score, Texas A&M 20, Texas 13. Don't forget to be with us on Saturday as ESPN presents another CFA doubleheader at 4 o'clock. Bob Rathman and Lee Corso will be in Boulder, Colorado, the Cornhuskers and the Buffaloes. At 7.30, Kevin and I right back in Atlanta. Another great rivalry, Georgia and Georgia Tech. Here it is with four and a half left to go. Number seven goes for seven. And the winning touchdown by Bucky Richardson. The Aggies 20, the Longhorns 13. And for the third straight year, Jackie Sherrill wins the Southwestern Conference Championship and three Cotton Bowl bids in three years. For Kevin Kiley, I'm Jim Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night, everybody. From the Great Wall to Wall Street, one airline brings our nation's business together throughout the U.S. and 13 foreign lands. United Airlines, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. Coming up on SportsCenter, it's the Vikings and Cowboys with the Cowboys needing a win to stay in the playoff hunt. No playoffs for the Chiefs or Lions, just a tradition in Detroit. The Cotton Bowl is on the line in the annual Battle of Texas at College Station. Chocolate Thunder is through playing jazz. Instead, he'll tune into that Motown sound. And on the ice, the Jets look to soar out of Boston with a win. All this and more ahead on the ESPN Sports Welcome to the Sports Center. I'm Alan Massengale along with Eric Clemens. First things first, hope you had a very happy Thanksgiving Thank for the Minnesota Vikings. It was a good day.